West Ham 3, Arsenal 1. The one don't mean jack shit. I'm biased sports. I am pissed. I am seething. Let me get the mic. I ain't even got the mic over. That's how pissed off I am, bruv. Yeah. Listen, I repeat, I'm biased sports. West Ham 3, Arsenal 1, and we are out of the EFL Cup. Bullshit. Pathetic. Disgraceful performance. I don't give a shit if it's the EFL Cup. I don't give a shit if people say we've got bigger fish to fry. What bigger fish, mate? It's a fucking trophy. Yeah, a trophy that we never fucking win. It doesn't matter if it's just the EFL Cup. To go out like that to West Ham is disgraceful. To lose to West Ham, period, is like that is disgraceful. I've had a nah, man. Today really pissed me off. Really fucked me off, man. First of all, the starting 11. Yeah, I weren't too pissed at the starting 11. Um, heavily rotated. I said we needed Rice in the midfield. I knew we needed Rice in the midfield. We needed Rice in the Like, you see the midfield, yeah, that these lot all fucking come out with. West Ham, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm pissed, yeah. West Ham started Kudos, Paqueta, Suchek, Alvarez. They're starting midfield, basically. We've started fucking Havertz, Jorginho, and Fabio Vieira. Now, you cannot start all three of them man in the midfield against a team like West Ham you, away from home. You can't do it. You need at least Declan Rice in the fucking team. Nah, man, I'm pissed. And then and then we go 1-0 down. We, we, we're all over him. It's not looking too bad. We go 1-0 down from an own goal. Yes, fair enough. Foul on Ramsdale. No VAR in the game. Yeah. Yes, it shouldn't have been a goal. But at the end of the day, we had fucking tons of time to rectify it. Tons of time to make it not be a factor in the game. And guess what? We didn't do that. The rest of the half was shocking. Side to side passing. Creating jack shit half chances. It was awful. Trossard. Atrocious, mate. Trossard keeps chatting. People shout for Trossard to start. Every time he starts a game, he's fucking shit right now. I don't know if that's a lack of confidence. I don't know what it is. He was shocking tonight. Havertz started the game decent in the second half. Wasn't at it. Jorginho. In a midfield like that, he can't do it. I don't know, man. I don't know. I thought, I thought, I thought it was awful. Listen, second half starts. I think come. Let's let's now go. Second half. Make a substitute, Arteta, at the half time. Change it up. Bring Declan Rice on at half time. Yeah, give him 45 minutes. He can do that. Yeah, he's a fucking borderline world class player. I'm sure he can play the games. Yeah. And no, we make no subs. Within two, two minutes of the half, they have a shot almost score. Ramsdale makes a great save. Then, not long after that, they fucking score again. Then we bring on Rice. 2 0 down. We bring, I, I don't even, I've lost my head, mate. I don't even know if it was 2 0 or 3 0 down that we bought. That we brought West Ham on. I need to check this, yeah, because uh, that we brought uh, Declan Rice on. I'm telling you, I'm seething. I'm pissed. Yeah, I don't care if it's. I don't. I really couldn't give a shit what competition it is, mate. We want to fucking win competitions, mate. Yeah, not. Ah, right, cool. We brought them on after two nil. We go two nil down. We've been Declan Rice and Tommy Asu on. Yeah, first of all, we've got two nil down, and we're bringing on a defensor, defender, and a DM. And no attacking player at the time. Then we go 3-0 and we decide to bring on Saka Martinelli. And then later on, we bring on Odegaard. They're 3-0. At that point, the game is done. The game is fucking done. Yeah. We couldn't create a chance before that. You think at 3-0, we're creating that many chances. It ain't happening. We end up scoring in the last kick of the game. Odegaard, only positive of the game is Odegaard got a goal. And hopefully he can take that into the next game and with a bit of confidence. Yeah. That's the only thing we could take from the game. That that little minute fucking detail that may not even come to anything. Listen, the boys need to perform at Newcastle. We need that. Nothing but a win is acceptable on, uh, against Newcastle. Nothing but a win after that piece of crap performance. Yeah. And listen, it's everyone's fault. It's fucking everyone's fault. It's the manager's fault. It's the player's fault. Listen, there's players on that pitch. Yeah. There's players on that pitch that are screaming about starting. People are screaming they deserve more of a chance. You get a chance and you perform like shit. The only man in that first half that I feel like could walk off and say, you know what, I, I done what I could. Yeah, I was trying was Reese Nelson. He's the only exception to this game. And Reese Nelson, yeah, Reese Nelson, come off. He come off. 
before Eddie. Eddie done nothing. Nah, it's it's unbelievable. It's it was such a piece of crap performance. And we've now West Ham. Look, this cup was winnable. This cup was winnable. The, the Man United are basically out. Yeah, yes, there's Liverpool, but look, this is a winnable cup, and we've chucked it in the bin. You see, Chelsea, they went full strength against Blackburn. They've gone through. Listen, I'm not saying we had to go full strength. I'm not even saying I was that vexed at the starting lineup. But the in-game management sucked at half time. We needed a change. And this is where I blame the manager. Listen, all right, cool. He didn't start Ditlam Rice. Yeah, he didn't want to risk it. We went 1-0 down. Fair enough. In the first half, they didn't even have a shot on goal. Yeah. Fair enough. It was an own goal that shouldn't have been. But bring on Declan Rice at half time. Bring him on. It's, it's, oh, it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. I, I, I'm pissed. Listen, I don't even know what else I could say. Fair play to West Ham. Uh, West Ham deserved the win. People saying we didn't play that bad. My, some of my mates, we didn't play that bad. We played fucking shit. If that's not playing bad, it shouldn't have been 3-0. What do you mean? Okay, there, the few fortunate guys. I don't mean nothing. We created jack shit to win that game. Nah. Not, not acceptable, not acceptable. I don't care if it's the EFL Cup. People say I'm overreacting because it's the EFL Cup. It is what it is. But if we end the season without any silverware, then it is what it is, isn't it? No, I'm pissed. Listen, there's not more else. I could, nothing else really to say, man. What, what else can I say? <laughs> Zinchenko for the second goal, man. Like, just getting caught under it. Like and then and then Kudus with with a nice touch and a nice goal. Another player that I really wanted to sign. If you watch my video, I was seething that we didn't sign this. Guy. I was pissed that we didn't sign this guy. Yeah, Kudus. I said, yeah, at the end of the transfer window, this is the last signing we need in this summer. Yes, we couldn't get a striker. We want Ivan Tony. Whatever it is, we didn't get a striker. We needed Kudus. That should have been our final signing. Yeah, and we didn't get it done. And guess what? He's come back to haunt us, mate. He's come back to, with West Ham to beat us, mate. Yeah, because he put the nail in the coffin with that second goal. Because once that second goal went in, I knew. Once that second goal went in, I knew we had lost the game. Yeah, ain't even. Oh, listen. If I go on, if I go on, I'm just gonna keep going over the same bull crap. Yeah, the, the same, the same shit. It was unacceptable, mate. The the whole team are disgraceful today. The manager was disgraceful today, and they better make up for it on the weekend. That's all I can say. Uh, I'll be back with more content anyway. Um, oh, I need to chill out, man. I feel like just to do, but I don't really normally do player ratings. I feel to do a player ratings today, yeah, just to give everyone a fucking two or something, mate. Yeah, I'm pissed. Oh my god! I, I, honestly, man, honestly, Arsenal, man, honestly, that that was shocking, mate. That is by far the worst game I've seen this season. I feel like this was worse than most of the games last season, mate. Yeah, unbiased sports. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, comment below what you think of the game, your thoughts, uh, your opinions. Um, yeah, unbiased sports. Peace.